sucks, but look at just look how beautiful this is, bro. Come on. Everything is a okay when you're riding with Jay. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another trucking vlog. We're headed to Denver this morning. Uh, it's currently uh, 7 12 or 6 12. Um, we're supposed to be there by 7 uh, 7 30, but uh, probably be there around like 7 45. Um, so, but it's just uh, it's like a um, like small company. Like he said that. He didn't even know I was coming yesterday when I called him, so. Just like, wow, bro. It's like, I told him, I was like, I'm delivering a four clip, two forklifts to you guys uh, tomorrow, and he's like, oh, what, oh, you're supposed to be here tomorrow? He's like, I didn't know we ordered any. I'm like, yeah. So, anyways, that's what we got going on today, and then uh, hopefully we can get something else. Um, Cornell's in. I normally he'll text me good morning, but since he's out yesterday, I was like, I just wanted to make sure he's in today. So I was like, good morning. He's like, give me a little bit to get caught up. So I was like, no worries. <laughs> I wanted to be like, glad you're back, <laughs> but I was like, uh, it's all good. So, anyways, uh, yeah, 88 miles to go here. Um, we're just gonna follow, uh, uh, so it's 95. We're gonna follow, uh, Trucker Path. It just looks like a safer route than. What Garmin's wanting me to do. So this is where we're delivering, and the sun is right in my eyes. But the Rocky Mountains are behind me, so I don't know where they have a semi dock here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's muddy. It is gonna be a pain here. I can't really see, bro. Let me put this visor down there. And I was like, I can't see anything. Oh my goodness, where's this dock at, bro? Bro, they don't even have a semi dock here. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Okay, they have like a tractor supply dock. You guys see it? It's kind of hard to see. Oh, dude, I hope I don't get stuck here. Oh my goodness. It is a rough, muddy mess here, boys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to back up to that dock because now the sun will be in my mirrors. Oh, shoot. Got some tractor trailers just hanging out back here. Oh, I'm gonna go here on the outside. Oh my goodness, bro. I should not be driving this through here. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness gracious, this is gonna be really rough right here. Oh, yep, yep, I'm glad I don't have that Kenworth anymore. That would have bottomed it out right there. Oh my God, this is awful. This is the worst it's ever been. Oh my goodness. And I haven't hit a tractor supply dock in a while. I thought I was done with these. on this dock but we'll fix it here in a minute so hard to see bro oh actually we might be good we actually had it pretty good set up so we're leaving now we got 107 miles to go this place was dumb that other place I delivered the forklifts to super friendly um, uh, they did like, they had three guys working on it. There was 16 wood blocks to knock out um, and like remove all the screws and all that. Um, but I pretty much had to do it all myself here. So I had to take all 16 screws out or all 16 wood blocks out. And uh, at first I started like, they were putting like 10 screws in each wood block. So, or nails in each wood block. So I was having to like pull them out with just like a regular freaking hammer. And these are like, six or seven inch long screws and then i just got to the point because the guy was just like standing there watching me he's like here you go and i was like 
Oh my goodness. So I just got to the point where I started just pounding the nails into the ground. So there's probably like a hundred nails that have been beaten to the trailer ground because I don't, I don't have time to sit there and pick it all out. You know, they had three guys doing it yesterday and Cornell was calling me, asking me when I could make it to the place for the pickup. And I was just like, I'm just gonna beat these in. So yeah, I don't know. So we're driving up through the Rocky Mountains. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. So uh, yeah, there's a sign that said, uh, right lane only 26,000 uh, gross vehicle weight or whatever, GVWR or whatever that means. <laughs> So I need to stay in the right lane, but uh, obviously I'm empty, so I'm gonna be coming up on a lot of trucks. So I'll probably be bouncing in between the right and the left lane. This is my first time being in Colorado that I can recall. Um, and it's beautiful, man. I, I wouldn't move to Colorado because I really don't want to live in a state where weed's legal. I just, I don't know. I know some of you that probably watch this channel smoke weed, but I've never been a fan of it. And like anyone who's ever smoked it, like and like I like hung out with them after they smoke, they just smell so bad. So like, I just, I don't mess with it. You know, I just never thought it was anything cool. Buffalo Bill's Grave and Museum. No way, no way. I'm related to Buffalo Bill. I didn't know he was buried in Colorado. Oh yeah, speed limit's 55, but we're doing 51, but yeah, Colorado is beautiful. Um, I'm pretty sure our pickup is in like a mountain. We got to take like Colorado Road 9 and then 3 and we're going up to like a mining facility. So it's pretty crazy, dude. But it's just, this is beautiful. This is such a beautiful drive. I'm so used to like, it really makes up for driving on uh, Interstate 80 through uh, Nebraska yesterday. That was boring and I got to do it again. I'll drive some of it today, I think. Oh. I didn't realize. Let me set the cruise. <laughs> I didn't realize that I gained that much speed again, but it makes sense we're flat. I couldn't imagine living, I think I got a splinter in my hand from that wood I was dealing with. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy. But we had to offload that truck and that took like 40 minutes and we made 50 bucks for helping or, you know, pretty much doing it, so. Passenger vehicle traction laws. What does that mean? Yeah, must use right lanes. Well, it says right lanes. So yeah, I guess you probably could use the middle lane if you needed, but I'm not gonna be passing anyone right now. Well, maybe, I, I don't know how fast this truck's 52. So we'll gain on them. We just gotta keep our foot on the gas because otherwise the adaptive uh, crews will uh, associate and slow down to that speed, so. Yeah, it's beautiful. I can't imagine how much one of these houses cost. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, boys. It is beautiful. I came over this hill crest and I just saw the peak and I'm like, I don't even know if that's the peak, but man, 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 this is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. The snow up there. It's so beautiful, dude. Oh my goodness, I love it. I think this might be the most beautiful drive in my one year that I've had. I mean, don't get me wrong, it sucks like having to slow down for curves and use max en engine brake to like, uh, it's not really like, it just pauses it. It's not turning down the volume. So every time I like get close to that line and it vibrates, it starts playing a song again. But I mean, oh my goodness. Like, this is gorgeous, guys. Like, I wish every day was this beautiful when you guys are riding with Jay. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just absolutely a masterpiece. Like, look, oh my goodness. The way station's supposed to be open up ahead, um, but there's like, after I get loaded, I have a feeling I'm gonna be heavy. So I don't think there's gonna be like any scales. There's not any scales. What the heck, bro, shut up. So, but yeah, this is beautiful. Man, it, I had to stop because like, just to get the thumbnail, I know I stopped like in the middle of the road, but this is like back roads, Colorado. So uh, <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna bother him. No one passed me and no one came the other way either. So it was fine. Uh, but we're headed up to this mill and uh, we got another eight miles. So I hope I turned down the right road. Uh, I tried to road, I tried to do it on uh, my Garmin, but it couldn't calculate a route, so 
Um, just have to trust Trucker Path knows what it's doing again and uh, hope it works out. Yeah, I could have probably came up here and pulled off, but I don't know. It's just, it's beautiful, man. I wish the drone was charged. It's not charged. I guess that's like someone's drive. <laughs> Speed limit on this road 60, but I've never driven it before, so I'm probably gonna go pretty slow on it, just to make sure I don't I can slow down if needed and I don't do anything stupid. So, man, oh man, oh my goodness gracious, dude, this is gorgeous. I hope this is a truck route, dude. I hope, I hope, because this is like the only way I calculated. There was no other route into the place, so and we have no network, so gonna be really bad if we get in a predicament because I can't make a u-turn on this road all right guys um <laughs> we're in the road again but I turned around like and looked I'm gonna roll this window down just in case see I accidentally hit the lock button bro so but like oh my goodness boys like where am I going right now this is gonna be like a perfect photo for like my Facebook background I have no phone service out here, <laughs> so I can't send it to anyone when I get to the shipper, but tonight when I get parked, oh my goodness, dude. I wish the drone wasn't dead. All right, let me grab a photo. Let me zoom it out. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> this is so amazing, dude. It's so amazing. <laughs> wow i would have never came here with cfi man it's crazy it's cold but jay doesn't care we're just uh walking around in shorts and a t-shirt going to pick up our load <laughs> man, if this is not the right road i'm supposed to be on <laughs> i'm screwed but dude it is so beautiful up here dude i never would have imagined you could drive a semi up a road like this and yeah, I'm parked in the middle, but I'm telling you guys, I'm like way off the beaten path. Like the interstate's like 20 miles from where I'm at. Like the only people driving up here are people that live up here, bro. So we're chilling, all right? So I need to get my uh, trucker path back up. We got 3.3 miles left till we're supposed to be at this mill. But if I'm not at the right place, it's gonna be a tragedy because I'll probably have to back <laughs> back down it's beautiful it's getting cold though it's 41 out well, it looks like trucker path sent us the right way i can kind of see some mill i don't know if it's the right one or not but uh hopefully they shovel their drive bro if it's like oh, snow that's gonna suck yeah, that's like an old mill bro that was the first car i saw i don't know if i was recording but just saw the first car industrial area keep seeing like bear signs dude I would love to see a bear I would be so cool I doubt they come anywhere near this place though maybe if I get the drone up I'm probably gonna pull off there's a spot back there that was pretty good to like pull off get the drone out fly it around it's just like oh, man this is just like so amazing you know I don't really like driving this like but like if GP wants to send me back here, please do because like it's just beautiful, bro. Just beautiful. This might be the place though. Some driver was saying there's somewhere near Denver that requires you to chain up and I don't want to chain up, bro. You know, I don't want to chain up. Let's just say trucks entering high yeah, entering highway. Looks like I need to make a right up here. At a lake pick up turn right trucker path man they know it knows what it's doing garmin couldn't even navigate me a route here yeah she's wanting to listen to what i have to say but the sign say welcome to henderson mill let me read this sign real quick all deliveries truck check-in at mill warehouse private property no trespassing Birds, deer, fish, pick up and delivery. All right, this is the right way. Oh, dude, could you imagine if this was like snow? It'd be cool to like see a bear down there, like trying to get something out of the water. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, I'm gonna hate being loaded coming down this because it was like all steep like this. This is probably the best trucking vlog that will ever be released on my channel right here, guys. So make sure you hit that like button, help the channel out. And uh, I want as many people in the world to see this video because, you know, like being a truck driver some days is just flat ground and it's very boring. But on a rare occasion, you have a day like today, man. And it, look at this, bro. Like, look. Oh my goodness. What a nice place, guys. This place was uh, very friendly, in and out in an hour. Had to do a couple extra things that you don't do at a, like every shipper you go to. But uh, I mean, just like, I was just like sitting in my truck, just like, I have no phone service. But I was just like sitting in my truck, looking outside, dude, because I never see stuff like this. Like, this is absolutely beautiful, guys. And uh, yeah, and they gave, they had like a little like bowl and they had like free candy for drivers. Dude, like what? Like, why can't the whole industry be that way? Hopefully nobody's coming down because I'm gonna have to swing out a little bit here to not clip the trailer. Dude, I can't get over it, bro. I literally cannot get over the view. I wish I had phone service because I would have sent it to like everybody. The thumbnail for this video is gonna be absolutely perfect. And uh, we gotta drive again. Um, so we got six, seven hours of drive time left, um, which we need to do like five and a half and then take a break. I might just shut down after five and a half. Um, I was hoping to get further, like to Omaha, so then I could deliver tomorrow. But I'll probably be delivering Thursday morning. I have no phone service, so I can't see when I'm scheduled. But uh, I'm heavy, like 77,000 pounds. Going back through that Colorado Rocky Mountains, it's gonna take a minute. So, but yeah, dude, I'll come to this place anytime they want me to. I, I really enjoyed. Like this is actually the first time, like I can say I've actually enjoyed going to a shipper. And. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're done and we're headed out. I don't know. You know what? We're just gonna do a time lapse here. But I wouldn't let her get away. I really wish my windshield was cleaned off, guys. Oh. This sucks, but look at just look how beautiful this is, bro. Guys, I <laughs> this video is like gonna be titled like the most beautiful trucking vlog ever. And like the whole thing, I'm just gonna be like, it's so gorgeous out here, and everyone's just gonna click off the video, guys. <laughs> Have you made it this far? Wow, I'm impressed. You know, oh my goodness, I'm just I'm just making these videos for uh myself in the future so I can like you know you can have so many memories but to be able to see it again that's the whole point and like oh oh why is it it's in a high gear it was in the almost in the red bro I'm glad it didn't upshift because then I would have like been able not to control this descent see the engine rpms can uh, really hold the truck but we're heavy right now so yeah, we're getting close to the bottom of this little hill we climbed up to get to the mill. But it's just, it's so beautiful, guys. Literally so beautiful. And uh, we gotta go back to Nebraska and it's just gonna be flat for the whole time. So we're about to stop at the same levels we started our day at. Um, we got three hours left of drive time. I tried to take a 30 minute break. Uh, it hit 29 minutes and I started rolling. I, I don't know what I was thinking, so it kind of messed it all up. And now our 14-hour uh, on-duty time matches with our drive time. So if we take another 30-minute break, we'll only have two hours and 50 minutes. And uh, yeah, I just I'm just gonna stop here for the night, and then uh, knock out about 600 something miles tomorrow. And then uh, you know we do that, then we'll have 150 miles to drive Thursday morning. So that's the game plan. And. Uh, yeah, make sure you guys hit that like button. Uh, if you really enjoyed today's video, which it was a very beautiful video today, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Come on. Everything is A-OK -okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day. Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven. Come and ride with me, yeah. Let me show you how I'm living. Come on.